So this week and uh, last week I've been uh, mowing this red clover. Uh, it seems sacrilege. I know to you guys who have, and girls who have uh, livestock, but we don't have any livestock at the moment, so we just cut it and mulch it and plough it back in, sort of compost itself rather than actually putting it through an animal. But um, the plan, if you've uh, seen any of my other clips, is to reintroduce livestock onto the farm. Um, I'm doing it with this spearhead mower, cutting it quite, quite low. Even though um, there's not a lot of um, sort of weeds and stuff in the clover, there is the odd wild oat and dock and the odd thistle. And uh, just mowing them before the, uh, the ploughs come to uh, plough this uh, mulch in, that means that we really do get a very good control of the weeds. And I really think for the cost of mowing, it really is worth doing. And the other, one, other thing that's sort of evident here is you can see that I've been mowing every other, um, it looks like I've been mowing any, every other sort of stretch of, of clover. I'm just going to turn around now, lift the mower out, change down the gears. Um, and that's because this tractor, like our other ones, uh, has got uh, GPS and um, it means that you can mow every other one and then you leave exactly the six metres uh, to come up on the way back up the fields. It means you can start in one corner of the field, work down to the bottom and uh, work back up to the corner where you start and leave by the same gateway, uh, which does save a bit of time and a bit of fuel. Uh, but also just um, the accuracy of this RTK system um, means that um, you don't get, don't get lots of over overlaps in the field and it, although you know, an experienced tractor driver can drive any implement with very minimal overlaps. Uh, nothing is uh, as accurate as this system, which is accurate to within a centimetre. And um, the argument is, is that over time, obviously, you save time and you save uh, wear and tear and you save diesel. And I have to say that I haven't quantified it, um, but when you're driving a tractor with this system on it, you can very easily see that over a period of time it will save you time and money. And also the other thing is that we've had the same system, this is the screen here, we've had the same system on this tractor and uh, with our quad track we moved the old system from um, the old quad track onto the new one. Um, so you don't have to update it with every tractor, you can move it from one track to the other. So the initial cost was £14,000. Uh, that we put over the um, lifespan of the five years that we're doing the tractor, but in fact we're putting on the new one, so it'll go from ten years. So go for ten years. So the cost actually should be minimal. I think it's well worth it.